$5,000 donation from the nonprofit We Need Diverse Books was halted last month as the books were acquired without board approval. Many teachers and parents at the last meeting outraged that this occurred. Thomas Payne, Brandywine School Board President, says he wants more books in the library, but they have to follow proper protocol. To suspend putting the books in the inventory or circulation. So right now we do have the books. We have not um, sent the book, books back or refused the grant in any way, shape, or form. Obviously, we're excited about grants. It's free money or free material. On September 25th, the school board unanimously voted to allow parents the opportunity to choose if their kids read what have been deemed sexually explicit books. Today's meeting, continuing that discussion, Ellen Hopkins is a New York Times bestselling author and now self-proclaimed most banned author for school libraries, and she spoke to the board today. 17 of the 35 restricted books in the Brandywine Library were written by her. She says her restricted books were written about real-life stories in an attempt to help children through tough times. Finally realize maybe she needs to turn around, you know, because it was such a horrific experience. And again, my goal is to try to keep other kids from putting themselves in that position, and hopefully they read the book and they will never want to be there. Hopkins says kids nowadays are exposed to worse materials through cell phones and internet access. Let kids read the books that they need to read. I, you know, kids are way more sophisticated than a lot of adults want to give them credit for, and books are a safe space. They're a safe space to explore difficult situations, safer than movies, safer than video games, certainly safer than their cell phones. I'm John Paul. Thanks for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.